Hey guys, Top Loaded here. Just got a fun little video. I got some mail. Um, picked up a few new cards. And uh, I got a few things I'm going to open up. Grabbed a stack of these, so this should be kind of fun, right? Um, well, first of all, I'll uh, kick it off with a little bit of a box rummage that I was doing tonight. I won't take you through the box rummage, although I think those are a lot of fun. I was organizing, going through stuff, and dug through a box of stars, you know, and uh, I want to say I probably haven't gone through that box in 10 or 15 years. And I found a couple of cool cards. One is this one here. That's Sports Illustrated for Kids, Michael Jordan. Um, doesn't have a date that I can find. It's probably somewhere between 93 and 94. Possibly sooner. This is what he's play, playing with the Barons there, though. So it's definitely during his uh, his uh, minor league stint. And then I found this one. 91, 92 Upper Deck All-Stars. And uh, just a cool card, you know. There was a time when, you know, we didn't necessarily top load a, a base star card like this. It's things are times are changing. Times are changing. Cards are definitely, definitely pulling in a little more value than they used to, as far as what we used to consider throwaways or just straight up binder cards. So I don't even know what's what anymore. But uh, we're going to open this up. This kind of goes along with those two Jordans. Not a big card, but just one that I saw that I had to have. Um, I had it when I was a kid. I can't find it. I'm sure I've got one around here somewhere. But this was cheap enough that I just went ahead and jumped on it. Didn't want to risk going, no, I've got it. Never being able to find it. And the next thing I know, this card's, you know, 50, 60 bucks or more. I, I don't even know. I just say that off the top of my head. I have no idea if it has that capacity or if it will be more. or I, I don't know. It's wrapped in some bubble tape here. I think I only paid uh, a couple dollars plus a couple dollars shipping. I maybe maybe spent seven dollars or less on this thing entirely shipped to my door. So you know, still a, a fairly reasonable card to pick up. Super cool card though. This is the Dream Team card, the Michael Jordan Team USA McDonald's card. Those are awesome. I've got the. I found the Magic Johnson one. I'm I'm not sure where it's at right now. It's over here, but. Uh, I found it, which made me want to go looking for this card. I couldn't find it. I don't remember if I traded it or if I still have it. I think I have it, but that's a frustrating part of having so many cards. Is you're not really, I mean, enough time passes, you're like, well, maybe I traded it. Maybe that's why I can't find it. So I figure for seven bucks or less, man, you just pick all these up that you can now because it isn't going to be long and it might be really tough. I just, maybe I showed this one off already, but I just picked this 90 Flare up off of uh, eBay for $8. I mean, that's just that's a bargain. Even even if it's not a great big, you know, PSA eight, nine, or ten, a raw card's still worth having. You know, I mean, they're they're a lot of fun to have and eventually sub. And that that might be a PSA five, six. Who knows? Who cares? <laughs> I'm not a big I'm not a big basketball collector. I have some. I like them, but uh, baseball is my number one. And I'll kind of go into this. this. Yesterday I picked up a couple cards. It was fun. We went to uh, an antique store. It's kind of nice. Missouri's opening back up this last week. And uh, this will be our second Monday since we've opened. Not every city has. Kansas City's still pretty well shut down. But um, St. Joe, the antique mall there was open. And uh, I think there was one just south of St. Joe that was open, which is where I found these. It's a 1985 Donruss PSA 9. I got that for 12 bucks. I mean, and that was right there in the shop, so no shipping or anything. So that was a steal, an absolute steal. I don't care what it is. I don't, I mean, it can be, you know, Bob Nobody in a PSA 9. It's worth 12 bucks because, I mean, unless you're bulk subbing, getting some sort of bulk deal where you're paying seven, eight dollars for a card, it's usually, what, 10, 15 bucks a slab. So that's a steal. It's, it's a Hall of Famer there, 3,000 hit guy. The other one I grabbed, this was 18 bucks. It's a 1981 Tops PSA 9. So I was, when I saw those two in the case for, well, combined $30, I mean, I, I was tickled. I, man, I, I couldn't grab them fast enough. So that's kind of, kind of led me to think I'm going to, I've got a project that I'm kind of starting right now, and I'm only five cards deep. You know, I, I don't have very many of them just yet, but, uh, I'll show you what I got going here. It's pretty simple, but pretty cool. So I've showed these cards off entire. I think the other ones I think you've seen in other videos. There's five slabs there. There's a 78 tops in a PSA 9, a 1980, or no, I'm sorry, in a PSA 8, an 80 in a PSA 8, 81 in a PSA 9, 85 in a 9, and 88 Tiffany in a 10. 
Um, my ultimate goal, I think, is going to be to collect every one of his his base cards, the base regular card, not like the all-star cards and diamond kings and all that, just the main flagship base card for the set from his rookie season through his last season, 93, I believe it was. Yeah, I think it was 93. 93 or 94, I don't remember. I think it was 93. But uh, I'm going to try to collect all of the 70s cards in a PSA 8, all of the 80s cards in a PSA 9 and all the 90s cards in a PSA 10. And the only ones that should be much of a struggle, the rookie card, probably right around $300. So it's it's a little bit up there, but it's not crazy. Honestly, for a, for a Hall of Fame player from 1975, 3,000 hits, a guy like Brett, that card should probably be worth more than that. But maybe it will be, and I need to jump on it. The 76, 77, and 78 I've got the 78, so the so the 75, 6, and 7 is probably going to be the tough one. The 79 is relatively cheap. The 80, I've already got it in a in an 8, so I'm either going to have to just make an exception for this card or upgrade to a 9 in order to, to make it all happen. I'll probably upgrade to a 9, but I imagine it'll be the last one I do since I've already got this, but I don't know. That's that's the project for right now. That's, that's what we're doing, so you'll probably be seeing quite a bit of additions to that here coming up pretty soon. Um, all right, with uh, that being said, I'm going to go into these. These are going to be fun. I bought, these are dollar store packs, about 20 of them. And they have, I think, five, yeah, five cards. There's five cards per pack. I don't know if you guys go into the Dollar Tree. But there's five cards per pack, and there is one yellow parallel per pack that are, I believe, Dollar Tree exclusive, fairly similar to the yellow parallels in the Walgreens Top Series 1. And I opened three packs the other day just kind of on a whim. Hit this. That's the yellow Aquino. So that's kind of cool. You know, it's a uh, a fairly unique card. Especially when you consider that there, I don't know how many is in the set. I need to look at that. So there's several hundred in the set. And you figure five cards per pack, the odds of hitting something like this. Not going to be very easy. So let's flip this camera around and see what we can do. Ready? Here's our stack. Let's get into the first one. Honestly, I don't have a whole lot of high hopes. I would like to hit either a Bo Bichette, a Gavin Lux, probably the Orton Alvarez too. That would be nice, you know, but I'd like to also hit like a Trout and some of the big names, you know, maybe some of my guys, a Whit Merrifield, just stuff for my own PC. So we got Cal. That's kind of cool. So for right now, Cal's going to ride the... He's going he's gonna to ride the perch. We'll see if we can do any better. We, we do... We do another decent one, we'll throw it over there, and we'll just try and upgrade our perch as we go along. So, then of course we got the Mookie, and we got the Eduardo Escobar. So, honestly, you know, any of the good rookies in here would just be good, too. Just just hitting a, a couple of the good, just base-rated rookies, I'll take that, too. That'd be nice. Obviously, I bought these for the yellows. There's a Jose Canseco right there. I, I pull that thing all the time. That'd be cool to get in the yellow. All right, there's Javi Baez, Nolan Arenado, Max Scherzer. We're, we're off to a good start with those guys. There's Jesus Lazardo. Um, and then, of course, Jose. That's a really good dollar pack, wasn't it? You got a Jesus Lazardo, Jose Canseco, and a yellow Scherzer. I'm going to throw that over there, mostly because we're focusing on yellows. And then Lazardo, we'll just we'll make a super sweet rookie stack right back there. Well, here we go. We'll throw Lazardo up there in the background. Trying. I got my top loaders at the ready, but I'm just, I don't think I'm going to mess with putting them on right now. All right. I guess if we hit a really good one, maybe I'll be concerned with it. So, all right, we're going to start with the J.D. Martinez in the back. Okay, so we got Jorge Polanco, Michael Conforto, Zach Collins, that's a rookie card, and I have no idea where who he is. I'm not sure, but pretty sweet nonetheless. M Miggy. And then there's JD. Alright. Let's go ahead and yank the yellows out. So 20 bucks on all these, not bad. You figure there's five cards per pack, you know, and I got 20 of them. So that's 100 cards. I spent 20 bucks. I'm not real sure how many you get in a uh, in a blaster, 
but it can't be much different than that. There's an Eloy Jimenez. There is a uh, high end Jin Ryu and Matt Carpenter. That's our yellow. And then we've got Scherzer. Well, that's different, isn't it? Huh, interesting. And Keith Hernandez. Notice that sometimes they have different shots. I don't know. I need to look and see. I don't. I, maybe you guys can tell me in the comments. I'm not sure if they're short prints or if there's just dual photo options. I know they have the nicknames, but I got a couple of trouts that way too. One, they're, they're just different pictures, and I haven't been able to find anything on them whether or not there's a short print or image variation or what that is. I don't pay as much attention to Panini baseball as I should. My my uh, my knowledge of Panini baseball is completely based on my knowledge of Panini football and basketball. So I just assume everything is the same over here. Justin Turner, Steven Strasburg, and Kevin Newman, one of the one of last year's rookie class. There's Goldie. And Keston Hira. Knocking out some good names. Alright. There'll be Juan Soto. I PC that guy, so that'll be fun. Walker Bueller, Mashahiro Tanaka, ah, our first big one. There we go. Got the yellow Lux. That's sweet. All right. So with the Aquino, that's two of the big rookies down with the yellow. And then Dylan Cease and there's Soto. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna top load this bad boy. This is a kind of a must. Somewhere I have. There we go. That's a must. I. I have a feeling this could be a big card one day. You can never have too many short prints of a solid player like Gavin Lux. At least a solid prospect. That's probably a better way to say it. Short and season coming up. 82 games. I'm kind of curious to see how some of these rookies do. I mean, there's not going to be much of a... There's not going to be much of a cooling off period. You know? That also means anybody starting out hot there's not, or starting off cold, there's not going to be much of a warming up period. I'm going to go ahead and throw Scherzer back here. I think Cal Ripken's already in the Hall of Fame. Scherzer will be, but isn't yet. So we'll go ahead and throw that one right there. That's that's a proud moment. I was hoping for that one. Now let's hope for Bo Bichette or Jordan Alvarez. That's what I'm thinking. I guess Dustin may be good, too. So we got Lorenzo Cain, Jonathan Villar, Ah, boy. So now we're off to the PC. There's my boy Hosmer. Man, quietly one of the game's more solid players. I'm, I'm pretty stoked to have that. Oh, boy. So we get another Gavin. And we end it with a Matt Carpenter. So that's nice. Awesome. I'm already, I'm already digging my $20 investment. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and bag and tag him, but... Like I said, we're going with the uh, yellow theme there in the front, so I might just replace Jesus Lazardo back there, which probably needs to be bagged and tagged as well pretty quick. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. You guys don't mind being patient, do you? Let's see if we can give that a little tilt so you can see it a little better. Now, we'll, we'll, we'll bag him up here in a minute. I'm pretty antsy. We're doing so good, I don't want to break the momentum. All right. So now we got a Brian Reynolds, Clayton Kershaw, well, that's an interesting yellow. It's Marco Gonzalez, but you see that right back there. Hmm, I like the borders being yellow a little better. Oh, now I wish that was the yellow one. Mr. Trout, and there is Cal. It's kind of fun to get a little rainbow action out of this stuff, isn't it? And these are dollar packs. These are These are nothing packs, basically, but they have really cool stuff in it. Especially if you like to chase the rainbow, which I do. I'm not a set collector, but I like to build the rainbow sets. I guess you could call that a set. Bieber, Bueller, El Nino. Is that that's Tatis, isn't it? Yep, yeah, Tatis. Oh, there's a Jordan Alvarez. So we're doing good there. And then there is uh, Jonathan Daza. So. Throw Jordan over there with Jesus. You can't be upset 
This is a great $20 investment, man. If you guys have a Dollar Tree around you, go grab a handful. See how you do. Okay, Yon Mankata, Matt Olson. And we got a, I think that's our second shirt, sir. Another Trout. And Ramon Laureano, another member of, I believe, is this last year's rookie class or is this the year before? This might be 2018. I can't remember. Maybe it is 19. What are we down to? Oh, what, 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 what are we looking at here? We're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're exactly halfway through these, and we've already yanked out a yellow Lux, a regular Lux, a Jordan Alvarez, and then Jesus Lazardo. I don't know if I could have done this good with a blaster. I don't think I have done this good with a blaster. Mitch Hanniger, Justin Verlander. There's Mookie. And we're getting good names. I mean, we, we haven't pulled out too many uh, too many duds, have we? And there is Ed Bear Alzale and Brandon Lowe. Yeah, our, our yellows are looking good. I don't have very many scrubs in that pile. And I may go back and grab another 20. Okay, there's Hunter Renfro, Chris Davis. There's a scrub. <laughs> no, I don't know who it even is. I mean, it's David Peralta, but I mean, I, I know who he is. I just don't know his numbers. Okay, there we go. We got another Lux. And there is Joe Palumbo, rookie. So... Kind of cooled off a little bit on the yellow. It'd be nice to hit another big rookie in the yellow. Don't care which one. Just kind of diversify, spread it around. So there's Garrett Cole. It's a green one. So who? Uh, it looks like it's gonna be. Mm, maybe it's maybe it's Lazardo. Mm, or maybe it's Chapman. Ah, it's Lazardo. Look at that, Jesus Lazardo. Huh. Sweet. Raphael Devers and Bobby Bradley. Another rookie. Alright, so there's another one of the big names. So we're going to go ahead and bag that up. So we are up to three. Three of the Chase rookies. Three of what? The top six or so, right? So what's left? Are Jordan Alvarez in a yellow? Uh, Bo Bichette in a yellow? Um, May in a yellow? Well, we'll go ahead and time to dog the cow there. Because our goal was to hit the rookies. All right. See another David Peralta. And another Kevin Newman. Uh, it's a rookie. Lewis Thorpe. But it's an 86 style rookie. Still cool. Okay, and then we got Marcus Simeon and Peralta. Stuck Peralta in the wrong pile there. All right, Tim Anderson. There is Herman Marquez. No, oh, is that Acuna? Yep. Yeah, it's Acuna. Acuna yellow nickname. There's Izan Diaz rated rookie and a Donnie Walton rookie card. <coughs> All right, this one feels thick. You think it's a relic? <laughs> Just kidding. It's one thing you ain't going to get in these packs, I don't think. Relics, autographs. If there is an autograph in any of these packs, you're talking one in 50,000 or something crazy. Okay. Trey Turner, Charlie Blackman, Wilson Contreras, there's Acuna, Diamond Kings, and Zach Collins' rookie card. So, kind of cooling off a little with our last four or five packs here. All right, we got Buster Posey. There's Willie Calhoun. Looks like it's going to be a Diamond King. Maybe it's an Acuna. Nah, it's Yelich. We'll go with Yelich. Yelich is cool. There is an Abreu rated rookie and a Luis Arreyes. What we got left? We got three left. Three left. Let's see if we can get one more. 
Let's go Boba Shet. I'd like to get a Boba Shet. That'd be cool. So we got a uh, Bregman to start with. Uh, Luis Castillo is trying to get a peek at this. Let's see what's back here. Chris Bryant. And there's Dave Winfield. It's blue. It's a New York player. Oh boy. What do you think, Lou? You think it's uh, Glaber, maybe? <laughs> Look at that crap, man. Look at that. I know who wants that. Got a yellow Glaber. All right. Last two packs. All right. So there's you, Darvish, Anthony Rendon, Brian Anderson, and John Means. That looks like it's an '86 style. I don't think it's anything big. And yeah, it's Willie Castro. So nothing real big. I guess if you're a Detroit fan, that's a cool card. I like the '86 style, but it seems it would have been cooler if the rated rookies were on the '86 style. I think you know. Little reminiscent of the Jose Canseco, but nah, it's just the the non-rated rookies. Still cool. Maybe one of those guys will break out and we'll have an epic card in there. But okay, we got Tatis, David Dahl. There's a Dustin May. Keep forgetting we have that little pile going. And what we got? What is he? And... Try and peek. Let's have some fun with the last pack. It's a rated rookie. Boba Shed, anybody? No. Trent Grissom. Hmm. Okay. San Diego. Quietly good team that's not doing so great the last couple of years, right? I mean, they got some studs on that team, but man, they gotta figure it. They gotta figure it out. Okay, guys. So for the recap, real simple here. We got yellow Max Scherzer, yellow Hosmer, yellow Tatis. Another yellow Scherzer, yellow Mookie, yellow Ripken, yellow Acuna, yellow Yelich. That's fun, yellow Yelich, yellow Glaber. And then we've got, this didn't come out of this break. This is just kind of here just for fun, so I should toss this aside. But I want to throw it in there just to show you the, the collection of uh, yellow rookies I'm amassing here. So we've got the Aquino, and then we pulled the Lazardo and the Lux. And then on top of that, we got two more Luxes. So we got a yellow Lux and two base Lux. And then we got the Alvarez, the Lizardo, and Dustin May base. So for 20 bucks, man, I don't know. I couldn't have. I couldn't have done this out of a blaster. Not even close. I might have had a couple something shinies, but I mean, really, this is some of the most fun I've had opening packs in quite a while. I think I might go tomorrow and pick up another 20 and make another one of these. I don't know. Let's see what you guys can find too. It'd be kind of interesting. See how. See if it's just uh, a luck of the draw, or see if maybe the odds are more in your favor by grabbing a stack out of there. But uh, without further ado, guys, I got nothing else for you, so uh, I'll be watching your videos now. So good night.